For as long as I can remember, I always loved challenging myself, joining the Marine Corps, and constantly pushing myself in the gym. But when it comes to gaming, besides the Halo campaign on Legendary, there are very few games that offer a challenge. That wasn't until I discovered Dark Souls 3 and experienced not only a challenge, but true pain. And to this day, I have never experienced what I felt with Dark Souls. But thankfully in 2022, From Software blessed us with Elden Ring, allowing me to once again experience true pain by completing all 42 achievements. Elden Ring begins after the the events of the Shattering, a war that began in the lands between after Queen Merica shatters the Elden Ring, plunging the lands into chaos as the demigods strive for power. You begin as a Tarnish, someone who has lost the sight of grace and was banished from the lands between, but are now called back to claim the Elden Ring. Before we can get started, we need to create our characters. Three, I have, I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know, Samurai seems pretty cool. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Nostradamus, get it? Get it? Cause he's, cause he's got a big nose. It was now time to begin the journey and Elden Ring wastes no time giving you the soul's experience. I know you're not supposed to win this fight, but we're gonna do it. Oh, oh wait, never mind, never mind. Hold on, chill, 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 chill. Take it easy, take it easy. Here we go. I'm so dead, bro. Somehow still alive after getting dominated by Hashirama several thousand hands jutsu, I make my way out of the cave and into the lands between, which is truly a sight to behold. Reach out and touch grace. Dun, 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 dun. From Software really deserves praise for this game based on looks alone. The appearance is truly breathtaking. Once again, the game wastes no time dishing out pain as you immediately encounter another boss. He's just standing there. I'm no professional Souls player, and it's clear that you're supposed to level up some and then return to the Tree Sentinel, but my pride simply wouldn't let me. Oh, you thought. Oh, we got him on the ropes. Oh shit! Oh no, bro! I was, I had him. I had him. He was. You see that? He was going down. Dude, what? Tell your horse to get off my dick, bro. Oh, come on! I wasn't even up yet, dude. After getting thrashed numerous times, I gave in and continued past the tree sentinel. I'm not done with you. Where I soon encountered Melina, who grants us the ability to level up and gives me Torrent, my trusty steed. Now having the horse and a summon given to me by a mysterious blue witch, I went back to the tree sentinel. All right, my body's ready. Let's do this. Oh, oh God, I wasn't even up, bro. The trees, bro, they're a paid actor. No way, there's no way, there's no way, there's no way. I'm one shot. Can I? I think I'm gonna pull it off on this. Oh no! <laughs> Bro. The other problem is, as I'm always. God, dude. Oh my god. No. No. No, dude. Oh, the tree. No, 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 no. I'm not taking, I'm not taking any chances. I'm not just kidding. Oh God, dude. Don't tell me. Is he, oh. People could do it with the dance pad, bro. I could do it with only gaining one level. I, I, I knew I could do it. This fight would have been much easier if I'd have realized sooner that you could attack in both directions while on torrent. Uh. Oh, there wasn't, you can slash both directions. That whole fight would have been so much easier if I knew that. Oh, I'm an idiot. With a boss under my belt and my ego properly stroked, it was time to truly experience Elden Ring. Guided by the sights of grace, I made my way to Stormhill. Once at the top, I encountered my first true boss, Margit. Margit carried a reputation as a hard boss, but did not pose much of a challenge. Let it be Margit the Fell. Margit, what kind of name is that? It's like you stopped spelling Margit halfway through. Okay, all right. For the Souls elitists out there who like to make this game harder than it needs to be, yes, I did summon for this fight. If the game gives it to me, I'm gonna use it. Cry about it in the comments. Get him. Oh, dude, we're gonna, we're gonna first try this guy. It's gonna be a first try. Oh, shit, he's dead. No, bro! Look at how close he was. Dude, look at how close he was. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, dude, I forgot to pick up my runes! What's absolutely killing me is the timing on his damn moves. He moves like a grandpa, man. He just... He moves as old as he looks. He moves as fast as every middle-aged dad getting up from the couch, man. Why do you move so slow? Finish him! Hey, first achievement, Margaret the Fell Omen. The hands of the Fell Omen shall brook thee no quarter. That forward's coming from a man who just died. Feedy Margaret, Melida now offers to take us to Round Table Hold. She can touch me whenever she wants. Oh, another achievement. Much like the Firelink Shrine in Dark Souls 3, Roundtable Hold is where you can interact with other NPCs and upgrade your weapons, among other things. Now, let me tell you, I love Roundtable Hold because when I play Souls games, I never feel safe to walk away and go to the bathroom and I'm forced to use a Mountain Dew bottle. But this is the one place I can safely do that and get huggies. Mm. Mommy. Leaving the safety of the round table, I return to Stormhill and continue following the Grace, the Stormvale Castle, which I spent two hours rambling to myself and realized only after reaching the top that I forgot to press record. At the top of Stormvale, I encounter the first shard bearer. Godric the Grafted. Shard bears are demigods that claimed a piece of the Elden Ring when it shattered, giving them immense strength and abilities. This is probably like the 10th attempt at Godric. Terrible timing. Terrible! Okay, yeah, cut your own arm off. I am the Lord. Wow! She finished him for me! That I didn't even feel like I won. Dude, he's still going? Uh, that's a that's a lot of wrath you got there, buddy. I'm not really sure if they've changed the difficulty of this game since its release, because up to this point, I've had an easier time than I ever did with Dark Souls 3. Oh, there's no way! With Godric now defeated and his rune claimed, this was the point for me where the open world experience of Elden Ring truly opened up. There's no clear direction on who you should fight next, and there isn't a requirement to fight one specific boss in order to complete the game. This left me wandering in the game for a while, trying to decide on my direction, and taught me two very important things about Elden Ring. The addition of a horse and the open world World was an amazing addition for a Souls game, allowing you to not only move around faster, but to actually kill or completely bypass enemies you would otherwise struggle against. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. I'm not scared. I'm not scared either. Exploring is both rewarding, but punishing. I just feel like this ain't right. Everything about this feels wrong. Bro, are you serious? Oh my god, it almost cost me. It was one shot, bro. I wanted it so bad. Through my exploration, I discovered a glenstone key, which is our ticket into the Raya Lucaria Academy. Knowing that I wanted to use sorceries for this playthrough, I entered into the academy because I figured an academy for sorceries would have sorceries, and I honestly expected it to be an area that wasn't filled with enemies. Oh, damn. Near the top, I encounter the Red Wolf of Radagon, who was the first boss I really struggled against. Let me do all that again. Okay, okay. Oh, not the Red Wolf. Why is this game like this? Oh. Those came a lot faster than I thought they would. That's what she said. It's never my turn. Ooh. He's so aggressive. What? Yeah, hey, Riv, just eat them all. Man's whole personality is be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. That's dumb. 
I actually ended up leaving the academy to level up and find items that could help me in the fight. Now listen, Elden Ring has been out for over a year now, and when it released, it dominated most of our feeds. I tried my best to avoid Elden Ring content so that bosses or items would not be spoiled for me, and after encountering this boss, I caved and went on the hunt for some things that I knew I wanted. Now feeling confident, I returned to the Red Wolf with a bruised ego and looking for some revenge. Where are you throwing it? He's right there. Okay. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. You're kidding. Oh my God. I couldn't even. I cheesed him so hard, bro. Oh my goodness. Red Wolf Radagon. There we go. Whoo. That was harder than it should have been. Like, honestly, that was way harder than it, sh than it needed to be. He was just so darn aggressive. With Radagon defeated, I head deeper into the academy, dodging this giant ball thanks to the messages, and face this mini boss who might have been harder than Radagon. No way! At the top, I encounter Renala, who is the head of the academy. Not another boss. Don't be another boss. Please don't be another boss. This just screams boss to me. I don't like this at all, dude. Yeah, okay, look, a boss. What do you know? The only thing a cutscene can mean. Dude, look at that nose, bro. He just bite you? You're not a little freaked out by that? He just looks down like, oh yeah, this happens every day. No way this is the boss fight. Oh, shit. Which one of you is it? Where are you? There she is, you're hiding. She's lurking in the shadows. Yeah, that's what I get. Oh, dude, I got so greedy, bro. She was right there. I just sneeze on her, she's done. Oh my God. No way, that's it. There's a second half to this. I don't trust anything in this game. Foul trespasser. See, dude, I knew there was more to this. I'm dead, though. Yep. Mm hmm. Oh! Dude, there's not even a chance to breathe. All right, I went and leveled up my Uchi Katana. Didn't even realize this whole time I was only at a plus two. Now I'm at a plus seven. I don't even know how I made it this far. Yeah, not really. I think it did a whole eight more damage to her. Almost took out her first phase. Wow, okay, never mind. It's putting in work. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, she didn't even get a chance. She didn't even get a chance. Renala, queen of the full moon. Great rune? Renala's rune is acquired already activated, unlike any of the other runes you can earn, which also unlocks great rune for restoring the power of a great rune. Normally, after earning a great rune, you'd have to activate it by visiting a specific divine tower. You only need two great runes to gain access to the capital city of Landale, which I already had from Manala and Godric, but knowing that Elden Ring still had a lot more to offer than just the main storyline, I set out in a different direction. I followed the sides of Grace and Limgrave to Castle Morn, where I defeated the area boss faster than Aaron Rodgers last in the 2023 season. I have no idea what awaits me beyond this wall. Okay. Yeah, fuck him up, boys. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's, he's getting me. He's getting me. Oh, dang. First try. First try. Let's go, dude. Leonine misbegotten.
I then followed the sides of Grace and Kaelid, which during a small detour into a cave, I fought Magma Worm Maker, Magma Worm Makar, and earned the Moon Veil, which became my new weapon and would be an absolute game changer for me when I can use it. The sights of Grace take me to Red Main Castle, where I encountered the first boss that would truly make me give up. Not even being able to put a scratch in the knight's armor, I abandoned any hope of defeating this boss and set out to the north, where after skillfully dodging this spicy rain, I arrived at Caria Manor. I didn't realize it at the time, but this place is filled with my worst nightmare. Growing up, I had a fear of spiders since watching the movie Arachnophobia at way too young of an age. And although I've gotten over this fear as I've gotten older, spider hand enemies still gave me the heebie-jeebies. Making my way through the castle, I eventually encounter Royal Knight Loretta, which I once again forgot to record and unlock an achievement for defeating her. Behind Loretta, I find the blue witch lady from earlier who reveals herself as Ronnie the Witch. Ronnie is another demigod in the lands between who wishes to bring about the Age of Stars which is an achievement in the game, so I agree to assist her. Except for that ridiculous duo, I had cleared every boss that the Sights of Grace leads me to, and decided it was time to head to Capital City. To get to the city, I had to make my way up this cliff and through some caves while fighting these bad enemies that look like one of Dracula's side pieces from Van Helsing. Honestly, she can get it. And fight another Magma Worm Mac Macar maker, but this one gives an achievement. Eventually reaching Alta's Plateau, whose theme is basically seek running through, as some of the enemies here were just not worth a fight, and I still have achievements to earn. Continuing through the Plateau, I once again encountered Margit. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I hadn't realized it at the time, but every enemy I ran past was just a warm-up for what awaited me at the capital entrance. Dude. Definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. And that's where I feel like I'm at. It just, it follows, man. It follows. What am I supposed to... I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't, I don't, I don't get, I don't get how to avoid that. I don't get it. I don't get how to avoid that, bro. I don't, man. I never thought I'd see the day where I'd say I'd be happy to see a horse die. This horse is unbelievably annoying. Nope, got the timing wrong. The developers of this game really sat around and they were like, Hey guys, remember the tree sentinel that we put right at the beginning of the game? Yeah, what about it, man? I don't feel like he was too easy. Yeah, he could have been harder. What can we do to make him just a little bit harder, you know? Really give the players a, a harder time. You know, why don't we give his horse the power to shoot fireballs and then give him some annoying lightning magic? After being decimated more than 50 times by the tree sentinel and his horse who just learned to use fireball and won't stop spamming it, I began searching for a possible secret entrance, which took me into Azura Hero's cave. Oh my, there was another one? There's nothing that says there's a secret entrance. I just thought there had to be one. Realizing this cave was not going to take me into the capital, I then discovered a note from a nearby merchant that spoke about secret tunnels in the capital accessible by a well in a town nearby. This sent me on a search into the nearby cities for a well entrance where I fought the first godskin enemy of the game, but was unable to find a well. It doesn't exist. While searching for this well, I came across an entirely new area and having the attention span of a goldfish, decided to explore it. This took me to Mount Glamir, and while climbing the mountain, I find a message that is clearly a trap but i'm a loot fiend so i followed it anyways i've been i've been debated patches all right brother i knew i should have killed you reaching the heart of the mountain i arrive at volcano manor where i join their cult that worships someone known as rykard and continue deeper into the mountain waiting near the heart of the manor is one of the cheesiest bosses i've encountered so far the godskin noble has an aoe attack that will easily kill your summons and has a roll attack that not only hones in on you but doesn't seem to stop until he's hit you Oh my goodness, the God Foreskin. There it is. There's a stagger. All right, I think from here on out, I'm just going to use the shield. Brother. Look at this man. He started getting bodied already, and then he already called some... Man. Bro's a loser. He probably got swirled in high school. Okay, this isn't fair. No, no, no! Oh, how do you avoid that? Oh, that's fair. Oh, I 
I dodged it. I dodged it. Oh, no, I didn't dodge it that time. Stop rolling. Stop. Not again. I got him. I think I got him. Just gotta hide on the pillars. Oh. That's so cheating, bro. You're so cringe. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, fudge. You already hit me, bro. Get out of that. I'll just keep doing this all day. Or I won't. Getting real sick of seeing the loading screen. Oh. Yo! I gotta, I gotta try to stay quiet. I, my daughter's sleeping right above me. <laughs> Yo, my desk better consider itself lucky because if, if she wasn't sleeping right now, I'd have given it a beating. Keep trashing him. Keep trashing him, boys. Rattle him, boys. Oh, staggered him out of it. Yes. Godskin Noble. I didn't even know that was a freaking achievement. Deeper into the manor, I eventually encounter the God-eating serpent. I don't like this already. That's not cool. Dude, that? What am I supposed to do about? Is that like I got to jump over it? When you first enter this area, you are actually given a weapon meant specifically for this fight, and properly using it took my pea brain way too many deaths to figure out. But even with this weapon, the serpent was extremely difficult. Oh, okay, I can't jump over it. Can't go over it. Oh, why can't I see what I'm doing? That's because it's a big old wall. I literally chose the one spot with the wall, dude. There's all that room over there, but here I am backing myself into a corner. I timed it so wrong. I'm dead. Yep. Oh, dude, he ate me. Wow. And it's like showing me sliding down into it. Wow. That is, f that is so messed up. I'm dead again. Yep, poison's taking the rest of my life, dude. I'm dead. I'm dead. Damn. Yep, there it is. Dude, that's so unfair. Oh my. All right, you know what? Listen up. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go see if I can upgrade this a little bit. I can't avoid it. Oh, that is a lot more damage. Hold on. Oh, I didn't know the light attack will do that. That's interesting. That just changed the game. Fucked up. Stun him, please. Yes. Imagine if he came down and that killed me right there. Nah, he's going to get back up for another round. No, bro. I killed you. Just stay dead. It was like Voldemort in the first Harry Potter. Hey, yo. Yo, now he's like Orochimaru. Bro just pulled some Orochimaru. Shh. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, hello there. Dude, he's so close. He's 
so close. Get him. Why isn't he dead? Oh my gosh. Whew, let's go. Trading Rykard's essence into the finger reader at the round table gave me the Blasphemous Blade, which would once again be a game changer for me with its ability that not only deals damage, but steals health from enemies. And I really need that. Giving up the search for some secret entrance to the capital, I return to face the Tree Sentinel. Dude, I'm cheesing him so hard. There it is. Okay, first try. Finally, man. Although Elden Ring gives you flexibility in how you get to the capital area, this was a point where in order to progress, you had to defeat this enemy. Finally inside the capital, I made my way through the now destroyed city to the first boss in the area. Oh, right to Godfrey, I see. That is freaking believable Sometimes he's fast, sometimes he's slow. Hey, damn, bro, them legs, though. Shit, my man don't skip leg day. Is that it? Please tell me that's it. Please tell me that's it. That was tough. Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. I don't even care. And immediately past him at the entrance to the Erd Tree, I encounter Morgoth. Who names their kids this? Yes. Summon her, please. I need Bay. All right, Melano, we'll see what you got. Buddy, oh, didn't I kill you already? Oh, don't go near that. Lesson learned. Bro, get off me. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. There's no way I lived through that. Bro, let me breathe. Oh my goodness. Dude. It's like you dodged the spear. He's got an immediate follow-up that you can't even roll fast enough away from. Oh, that's, that's, dude, that is such a fucking horse shit. Oh. Dude, if, why? Like he telegraphs the hell out of his next hit and yet the timing on it is just so off. There it is. There's the damage. Look at the... Oh, wow. Hardly just shit that time. No. 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 Do not... Okay. I'll eat that. I don't care. Let me live. Quit hitting me with literally everything. Just let me get that one hit. Fucking. Bitch, die. With Morgoth now defeated, I continue to the Erd Tree, but it's blocked by impenetrable thorns. Melina wants to burn the tree so that we can enter, but normal fire won't be enough. Melina has our player then head to the mountaintops of the giants to retrieve the special fire. On the way to the mountain, I encounter what has to be one of my least favorite types of enemies. That's so dumb, dude, I'm stunned. That's so dumb. Ow. Oh, so fucking close. Fucking. God, dude, I hate his stupid little staff. I know I can just run past this boss, but my pride would not let me. Stagger, there we go. Another stagger, big dub. Okay, that didn't count for shit. Nope. Nope. 
Finally at the mountaintops, I first made my way to Castle Soul to retrieve the second half of a medallion. Before I can get the medallion, I have to first defeat Commander Nile, whose fight got off to a great start. Are you kidding? Just kill me. Just kill me. That's that's ridiculous. Okay, just kill me, because that was stupid. That was that was unbelievable. Line them both up. I'm gonna eat that. But I'll take that. Wow, dude. Back to back. This is the one. Oh, of course. Rip. He's got to keep taking one hit and then back off. Ah, okay. He got me that time. All right. I'm going to eat that too. Ow. Okay, I forgot about that. Come on, do something. Not just regular attacks. Give me an opening. Okay, not not that kind of opening. I'm taking it. Ooh, Commander Nile. With the medallion acquired, it was then off to the mountaintop to set fire to the Erd Tree. However, blocking the path is the next boss, the Fire Giant. I've got a real bone to pick with From Software because I am tired of being put into David and Goliath fights. When is it my turn to be a giant? Wow, okay. Oh, bro's got a tum- he's got a face on his tummy. Yeah. Oh, that's not reaching him? Okay. Good fight. GG's. That's dumb. Hold still, let me get that ankle. Oh, here goes the second phase. I'm gonna die here. Oh, that looks like it really hurts, man. Hey, yo, chill. That was unnecessary. You sacrifice? What are you doing? Praise the leg. Ah. Oh. Dude, I couldn't even get up. I told you I was going to die. I told you I was going to die after the first. I told you. There's no way I was living through that. that up. There it is. Wow, that really did nothing. Hey, he hate you? <laughs> I don't know, kiddo. You think he hates werewolf heads? You think that's what it is? So you think if I just took off the werewolf head, he wouldn't hate me anymore? Oh, no. I timed it so wrong. Dude, he was so close. Oh, I couldn't even see any. <sighs> oh. No, that's. Oh. What? Immediate stagger. No, take the stab. There you go. Oh, that's new. That's new. I'm out of health. I'm out of health. This is it. I'm a literal 
one. Come on. There we go. Oh, dude, I was literal one. I was literal one. I was booty clenching. Fire giant. With the giant now defeated, Melina sacrifices herself to burn the Erd Tree, leaving me maidenless once again. Our player wakes up in Farum Azula, where I then face the Godskin duo. Oh, it's the Godskin duo. I'm so dead after that. Hey, are they gonna come back? Oh, okay. Oh, he's back again. I could the skinnier ones weaker. Bro, I love how he just turned his attention to me midair. He is getting up this time. And so did I. Oh, really? That is such horse shit. I'm dead again. I'm dead. Dude, the summons in this game. Oh, God's getting duo. Sick. The summons in this game are a bit OP, dude. Like, I don't remember ever seen these when Elden Ring first came out. But what are you doing? Get out of here. And shortly after, I am once again forced to fight my mortal enemy. Okay. All right. Die, die. <sighs> With the most difficult boss in the game now defeated, it was time to face the area boss who, as it turns out, is the beast clergyman that you can encounter as a friendly NPC if you progress D's quest line. It's back here. Who is this? Buddy, wasn't I feeding you? Beast clergyman then transforms, revealing he is really Malekith who holds the death rune. Oh, nah, bro. Damn. Wow. <laughs> I thought I could just hide behind the pillar. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Dude. Oh my goodness. Hey, mean guy. Ow. Dude, every time there's a pillar right behind me. Yep. The reach on that is insane. Oh. After experiencing the feeling of no lube, I had a bright idea to return to the clergyman's location in Kaled to see if I could kill him there and prevent this fight. Oh. Oh, uh, that was the wrong button. This wasn't my brightest idea, and I decided to return to Far Missoula to fight him in a bigger space. Oh, I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> There's nothing I can... I'm gonna die. Oh! Oh my gosh, dude. He tracks so hard on that. Oh no! I was trying to get behind the pillar, dude! Look at his health! That's so dumb, bro. Like, how do you get away from that? Look at his health. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm so dead. Give me a 
fucking moment to breathe, dog! <laughs> I'm gonna have to bleep a lot out in this video, dude. It's ridiculous. There's no other words to describe the emotions I'm feeling going through this. Yep, sick, sweet, love it. Yep, I love having to run all the way back here. It's great, I love it. Thank you very much. The only way I'm gonna be able to beat this is, is, is pure luck. I do not understand how to avoid some of his attacks. They're just, they're, they're gonna hit me and there's nothing I can do about it. I don't understand how to get away from them. Let's go dude, give me that. Oh my god, that actually killed him. Oh my gosh, that actually killed him. Let's go, dude. To kill what? I was ready to lose my sh If I didn't beat him right there, I was going to lose it. Like I said, I, I, I had to get lucky. It was going to be all luck, not even skill. Defeating Malekith releases the death rune and also releases death itself into the lands between. I then awaken inside the capital that is now covered in ash from the burning Erd tree. And heading back to the Erd tree entrance, I am stopped by Sir Gideon Offnir, the all knowing. Up to this point, Gideon has been a helpful NPC in the round table who provided intel about bosses to our player, but now he intends to stop us from becoming Elden Lord as he believes Queen Merica's intent is to have the lands forever in chaos. No way, dog. Bro, we're just bullying him. Keep it up, keep it up, don't stop. For being all-knowing, he didn't know these hands are rated E for everyone. Bad joke, I know. At the Erdtree entrance, Godfrey, the first Elden Lord, yes, the Godfrey I faced earlier, but this time it's the real him, has come to stop me from becoming Elden Lord, and our player must now defeat him to gain access. This isn't even the final boss fight, and this, I just, I know I'm gonna have a great time with this. Hey, chill, bro, I was in the middle of su come on. I had 107. I didn't realize how many. Why do I have so many runes on me? Where did I get all those from? Yo, I'm going to have to pull this off. That's 100. I got 175K on the line here. Brother, let me breathe for a second. I'm so dead. What? Brother. If only I had friends. Come on. What? What? I did nothing different than what I've done this entire time and somehow that one happens to catch me. After dying over a dozen times and not even able to take out 50% of his health, something Gideon said began to make sense to me. Oh, so we just have to become a woman? What? No! In order to claim the Elden Ring, I needed to become something more than just a man, and this can only be accomplished in one way. Defeating any remaining shard bears, optional bosses, acquiring a god-slaying weapon, and collecting all legendary items. I returned to Redmain Castle to take on the duo boss that dominated me before. Turns out I came here too early, and instead of the duo, I would now be facing Radon, the dude who fought the infamous Millennia to a standstill, but this had to be the most disappointing fight in the entire game. You are given multiple summons to assist you in the boss fight, and they make this battle a cakewalk. Well then just don't use the summons. If the game gives it to me, I'm gonna use it, and I'd rather walk through broken glass than make this game any harder than it needs to be. Defeating Radon rewards me with his rune and achievement, and afterwards, a cutscene plays showing a meteor crashing into the ground, following it takes me into the underground city of Nokron. I was already loving this game, but as soon as I arrived in Nokron, I fell head over heels because this game just keeps on giving. The city of Nokron is absolutely gorgeous and is a whole underground area nearly the size of the lands between. I wonder where that kid game got the idea for the depths. Inside of Nokron, I face the mimic tier well, you're finished buddy dang i'm actually pretty weak man mimic tier sick light these fires and face the ancestor spirit do it again and face the regal ancestor spirit deeper in nokron i face a duo of one of my favorite enemies okay not too bad second try 
Sheesh. Oh, Valiant Gargoyles. I didn't know that was an achievement. Climb into this random coffin to head to the deep root depths. Bro, who just looks at a coffin and is like, yeah, let me get in there. That's a good idea. Okay, yeah. See, Nas, I'd be freaking out. In the deep root depths, I hug the now dead Fia one last time and enter a dream where I face Lich Dragon Fortisax. Then enter another underground city, Noxtella, to defeat the Dragonkin soldier of Noxtella. And cross the Lake of Rot to face Astol, natural born of the void. Defeating Astol also progresses Ronnie's quest line, which is needed for her achievement. In a castle near Mount Glamir, defeated Elmer of the Bride. Level my weapon to max for God Slain Armament. Return to Landale Sewers and defeat Moog the Omen. Enter the Moog Palace and defeat another Moog. Collect all legendary talismans, weapons, sorceries, and incantations, and Ashen Remains. And after getting assassinated over 30 times by this Black Knife Assassin, finally make it to the Hallowed Tree and begin edge of tomorrowing my way through. Eventually, I make my way to Loretta Knight of the Hallowed Tree, and after over a dozen more deaths, I finally enter the Hallowed Tree to face Elden Ring's infamous boss. Just in case. Oh, yes, it is her. I'm not ready, bro. Heed my words. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. And I have never known defeat. Were you about to now? Well, hey, yo, I didn't have time to summon or nothing. Chill. Yo, straight up speared his ass. I just, I'm scared of the waterfall dance. That's what I don't want to happen. Okay, there's no way I'm about to put her in phase two first try. Oh, that's it, that's it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. No. I'm going to eat this. I'm going to eat. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead, bro. I just... Oh. I'm dead. Nope, 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 nope. I'm so dead. I'm dead. I don't... Okay, it's the whole health bar. Dude, they really made this fight like that. Look at that schnoz, bro. He said this isn't even my final form. She don't even got eyes and she's about to body me, bro. Hear me out. All right, she's kind of weak in this form, though. Bully her. Oh, no. Don't bully me. There's no way. There's no way, bro. First try on her second form. Shard bear millennia, just like that, dude. That's crazy. Dearest Mikola, my brother, I'm sorry. I finally met my man. Don't feel bad. I think Mikola's is already dead. Sadly, not only did I come to Millennia too late in the game, but she's apparently been nerfed as well. This was really disappointing as I was hoping for that dopamine rush of beating a really difficult boss. Yes, I have an addiction. No, I don't want to talk about it. This leaves one last boss before I'm worthy to become Elden Lord. Returning to Far Missoula, I lay down in this coffin and am transported inside the storm where I find the last thing standing between me and becoming Elden Lord. Placid do, Placid do six, Placid do six, Placid you sax, whatever. This giant two-headed dragon who was arguably harder than millennia i'm dead i'm dead run i like how even the music stops when he does it That's so cool just give me that i'm not even gonna try to do some extra damage there oh okay oh hey yo yo bro no <laughs> He was like, I'm a fire in my laser. Swipe back. Not the. F oh my gosh. I'm dead. I'm dead. That is. <sighs> I don't care what anyone says. Dragon Lord Placidu. Placidu 6. Placidu. I'm butchering that so hard. Whatever his name is. 10 times harder than Millennia. I don't care. Uh, one more hit. Let's go. There we go. Dragon Lord Placidu 6. Placidu Plas. Dragon Lord. 
whatever. Now resembling something more than a man and fit to ascend to the Elden Lord, I headed back to the Erd Tree to face Godfrey once again. All right, I'm gonna hit him with it. Bro, did you just miss that? Oh, he whipped it out. Oh, but the cutscene. Thou didst me good service. Bro, wow. You're just gonna straight up. That's messed up. Now I fight just horror, Lou. Warrior! Yeah, he's kind of weak. That or I'm just way over leveled at this point. That's it. Done. First try coming back. Or Alu. With Godfrey now defeated, there was nothing left to do but enter the tree to claim the throne. Is that Merica? Queen Merica? Wait, now you're a dude. What? Give me some of that health back. They give me that stagger. Pretty weak. Pretty weak, bro. You're weak, bro. You moves are weak, bro. Your dog water. What's with everybody eating everybody for power? Like, that's nuts. Straight up said, hey, oh, my boy, you're a sword now. It's amazing how they can make a make a boss's entrance looks just so fabulous. Oh, what is this? What am I watching, bro? Hey, hey, yo, hey, yo. Oh, 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 okay, okay, all right. You would stop running away. I would body you so quick. Since Elden Ring's release, I'd heard the final boss was lacking in difficulty, and I'm not sure if the dragon received a buff or if I'm just bad. Probably the latter. But I didn't realize how difficult this final boss would truly be. The arena you face the dragon in is massive, and with the dragon hardly ever staying in one place, you pretty much have to constantly run mini marathons to get to it. Oh, dude, I'm so dead. Wow, brother. Are you done running away yet? Quit running away! I... Every time it's new. Oh my god. Oh, we're already playing this game. Yep. Ock and A, dude. No, bro! Dead. dead I'm dead I'm dead I'm can't get I can't get up <sighs> he just runs and runs and runs and runs some more and then runs some more yep 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 Dude, he's almost dead he's almost dead I just gotta stay alive stay right there stay right there don't move Hold on, let me get some stamina. I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna eat this. Stay right there. Mom's a hoe. Yeah, baby! With the dragon finally defeated, it was time to ascend to Lordship. There are a total of six possible endings in Elden Ring, and while you would normally have to play through New Game Plus 2 to see all the endings that have achievements, we can accomplish that with some save cheese. First up is the Elden Lord ending for simply restoring the ring. A sea will look back upon us and recall. An age of fracture. Reloading a save, I then summon Ronnie for the Age of Stars ending. I'm not even sure what this means. Now cometh the Age of the Stars, a thousand year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. Here beginneth the chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond. 
And lastly is the Lord of the Frenzied Flame. In order to get this ending, you have to enter a secret church hidden behind Moog the Omen, where you'll find the Three Fingers. The Lord of Frenzy Flame ending plunges the world into chaos and gives us our last achievement. Overall, Elden Ring was another fantastic installment from From Software. And outside of just achievements, with everything this game has to offer, it's easy to see why it won Game of the Year. Even with all the achievements completed in this game, I find myself wanting to dive back in for New Game Plus. But that will have to wait till the first DLC, Shadow of the Erd Tree, drops. Which you can bet, if there's achievements, we'll be returning to complete them.